This is how the great Cézanne, born and bred in Provence, saw Paris in the 1800s. He lived here for years, but found inspiration for just four paintings of the capital, not shown in Europe for nearly a century. They're part of this retrospective, Cézanne in Paris. Not a great period for him, it seems. Cézanne va essayer. Cézanne tried to get into the Beaux-Arts and failed. He submitted his paintings to the Salon. Not a single one was accepted. In fact, Cézanne wanted to take Paris by storm, but he didn't have what it took. But Paris wasn't a dead loss for Cézanne. He discovered the Louvre and saw much of his friend, the great writer Emile Zola. And this is where he met Hortense, his future wife and main model. Here she's posing in front of the wallpaper that was to become the backdrop to many of Cézanne's paintings. We think that this is the same famous wallpaper that he had in one of his apartments in the Rue de l'Ouest in Paris. We don't know in which of his two apartments this wallpaper actually was, but he painted a whole series of still lives with this wallpaper in the background. Still unknown by many, Cézanne also ventured outside of the Paris city walls into what was then countryside and farmland. Here he perfected his unique treatment of light and eventually caught up with the Impressionists in Auvers-Soise. At that period he really discovered the pleasure of exploring light, painting from life and seeing a different landscape from the one in Provence. He discovered the countryside not in Provence but around Paris, including at Auvers with the Impressionists. Cézanne will always remain the great painter of southern France, the Provence, and this show won't change that. But the exhibition proves that the founder of modern painting found his early inspiration in the cold capital up north, before finally knowing fame just a few years before his death in 1906.